In this example, we are going to talk about Newton's second law. We have what we call outward machine. is a machine that consists of pulley. So the objective of today is to uh, find the acceleration of the M1 and M2 and the tension in the cord. We suppose there is no friction and the pulley is massless. So the first thing we need to do to find the acceleration, we need what we call free body diagram. Means we need to sketch all the forces applied on each object. Then we use uh, Newton's second law, which is the force equals to the mass times acceleration. So let's start. So we circle the object we are going to study. We have M1 and M2. We said we don't, we are not going to take care of the pulley because the mass of the pulley equals zero and there is no friction. Okay, so this, the third system uh, or the third mass is not uh, there, which is M, the mass of the pulley is zero and there is no friction. That means in this case we have just two objects, like they are connected to each other, okay? So how many we circle the object and we look what pulls and what push on the object. So if I take the object M1, by definition, if the object has mass, it will have force of gravitation. We call it mg. This mg all the time is perpendicular to the ground. It will be m1g. Then I have this object m2 is pulling on m1. This uh, force, I call it tension. I call it t1. Now, I have also this object M2 uh, is being pulled by this mass M1 through the rope. I call it T2. Also, we have the mass of M2. By definition, if we have mass, we have force of gravitation and all the time is downward, perpendicular to the ground. We call it M2G in this case. Now, I know all the forces applied on each object. Now remember when we say the object is massless, the pulley is massless and there is no friction. By definition, T1 in magnitude equals to T2. This you need to remember. Let's put it there. T1 equals T2 because of this condition. We said the, the pulley is massless, there is no friction automatically. The tension in the rope is the same all the way. Now let's start with object one. Now we need to know the direction of motion of the object one, where it should go. We said M2, we look to the masses. M2 is 14 kilograms, is given. And M1, we said, is 10 kilograms. Means the direction of motion of the object one will be upward. And the object to two, it will go down. We sketch the direction of these forces. In general, when, so to see the direction of forces clearly, you shrink the object, make it as point, so you can see the direction of forces clearly. This case is sample case, but in certain cases, we will have different direction of forces and the object has different shapes. Uh, so make sure you, um, when we study sample cases of Newton's law, shrink the object so you can see clearly the direction of force on the object. Now, what all we have to do now, we use uh, uh, Newton's law on each object. I go to M1. We know Newton's law says, by definition, the net force means the total force equals to the mass times acceleration. The sigma means the sum of all forces applied on the object M1. Now, how many forces applied on the object M1? We have T1 plus M1G equals to the mass one times acceleration. Now, to take the arrows off, we need to look to the direction of motion. Once we put the arrows, uh, we keep the plus sign, but once we take the arrows off, we have to look to the direction of motion so we can get the algebraic value for each force. 
Now we see T1 is in the same direction as direction of motion, and direction of motion is the same direction of the acceleration. If the force is in the same direction of motion, the tension, the force is positive. In this case, the tension is positive. The weight is against in the direction of motion. So uh, it will be negative, M1g. And the acceleration is in the direction of motion. It will be M1a. Now, this I call it equation one. Okay? Now, I go to the second object, which I have M2. I do the same thing. Sigma, uh, the sigma of the, uh, the forces applied on M2 will be just the mass two times acceleration. The M1 and M2, they are connected to each other. They will have the same acceleration. We have T2 vector plus M2g equals to the mass 2 times acceleration. Now, to go to algebraic value of each force, we look to the direction of motion. So the direction of motion of M2 is downward. If it's downward, any force that goes in the same direction will be positive. Any force that against this direction will be negative. In this case, I have negative T2. And what we said about T2 is identical to T1. I can just put T1 in this case. Plus M2g equals to the mass 2 times acceleration. This acceleration is in the same direction of motion. It will be just A. Now, I call this equation 2. Now, if I add these two equations to each other, the tension vanishes. Remember, we say T2 equals to T1 in magnitude because there is no mass, there is no friction on the pulley. Now, if I add this, it will be uh, negative, negative M1g plus M2g equals M1a plus M2a. We put the positive term in front, what we will have M2 minus M1. In common gravity, I put it as factor of M2 minus M1 equals M2 plus M1 times acceleration. So the acceleration will be M2 minus M1 times gravity divided by M1 plus M2. This is the formula for the acceleration. Now we said this is M2 minus M1. We have 14 minus 10 times G divided by 14 plus 10. So it will be 4 over 24 G. It will be, now if I want it in meter per second squared, you divide 9.8 meter per second squared divided by 6. We use the first equation or the second equation, it will be the same tension. We have T1 minus M1g equals to M1 times acceleration. T1 will be just M1a plus M1g, which is M1 factor of A plus a G. Uh, M1, we say it is 10 kilograms times 1.63 plus 9.8. Remember, the unit is in meter per second square. It will be 114.3 newtons. This is what will be the tension T1. So if I use the, se the second equation, minus T1 uh, plus M2g equals to the mass 2 times acceleration. So if I move negative T1 here and I bring m times acceleration to the other side, what we will have? The tension T1, it will be M2 minus M2 times gravity minus M2 times acceleration. It will be M2 factor of G minus A. So M2, we said, is 14 kilograms. G is 9.8 meter per second squared minus 1 was 63 meter per second squared.
Okay, if uh, we do the calculations, we, will find, we should find the same thing. Uh, it will be 114.3 newtons. Thank you.